Hey, what's up everybody? I'm making this quick video because I had a G6 Plus gimbal that failed on a firmware update and basically got bricked. And so this is what I did to fix it. First off, I went online and tried to search a bunch of videos and I couldn't find any videos of anybody successfully fixing their gimbal after this had happened. Um, some people had even gone out and bought some kind of the USB device that plugs into a cord that allows your compu computer to recognize it to try to do the firmware updates to your computer, which I couldn't do because the company's driver software is not compatible with the Windows 10 version that I have, and I didn't want to have to go pay for an additional piece of equipment unless I absolutely had to. Um, but even then, a lot of people that were buying this piece of equipment online and trying to do the firmware update still weren't able to successfully get it updated. And sending this thing back to China is just a pain that I didn't want to have to deal with. So after hours of trial and error, I finally did something that worked and I hope this works for you. Um, first off, the app that I downloaded was their app, but I didn't download from the App Star, the App Store. I downloaded it from their actual website. So if you go to their website, um, on under the G6 Plus and under the support, there's an app for Android that you can download from here. So I downloaded that app. It's an ABK installer. I had to allow my phone to install it by allowing malicious software. Once it installed, I did three things. I took the battery out of the gimbal, did a hard reset. I launched the software that I had downloaded from the website and put in my email like you usually would do. And then instead of pressing the power and then the menu button on the side of the gimbal to go into the firmware mode, because I had tried this many times and um, sometimes it would work and it would still continue to fail, I just turned it on normally. And once I did that, the app recognized that my phone was connected and then it prompted me that I had a firmware update. And before when I was getting to this point, it wouldn't let me update my primary firmware and it was a 0.00 version and said it was up to date. I could only attempt to try to do the um, keyboard uh, firmware update which would keep failing um, by doing it the process that you find online or on their website on how to do this. So it prompted me that I had a firmware update and it was the firmware update that I needed to get to get my gimbal working which I was like yes now it's recognizing that I actually need that update. And so I simply updated it and it went through the 0 to 100 and I restarted my gimbal and it worked fine. And usually I would, on the other firmwares, or the original firmware update, it would take a long time to get to 1.1. And then it would take a long time to get to 2.2. And then it took a long time to get to 3.3, and it would jump 1.1, 2.2, to 2.3, and then after that it would fail. And this time it started out at zero, or one I should say, and then counted all the way up to 99 and I was really confident that I had got something right. So if, this, so if this is something that you're having a problem with and you don't wanna throw it against the wall or try to send it back or try to buy additional hardware to try to do it through the computer, this is what I did. It was successful. I hope this works for you. Um, if this helps you, please like and comment below. If you have some questions, please comment below and I'll try to answer them the best that I can. And in, otherwise, peace.